What's going on riders and new riders? We're here at Independence Harley Davidson and today we're going to be talking about the Harley Davidson Lowrider for new and existing riders. Infinite rider. Infinite rider. Let me get my gloves on. Much better, right? So, we are leaving Independence Harley Davidson. And this is going to be the third video in the new series, Harley Davidson for New Riders. And today we're going to be talking about the Harley Davidson Lowrider. Now, if you're not a new rider, this video is still for you because I'm going to be going over some different things and some benefits of the Harley Davidson Lowrider as far as if this would be a good bike for a new rider as well as an existing rider. So before we get out here on the road and I give you my first impressions, let's just go over a few simple things really quickly. This bike does come with the Milwaukee 8 motor in a 107 and we'll talk a little bit more about that once we get out here on the road and the benefits of having that milwaukee 8 107 motor now the low rider is going to be what i would call your classic cruiser it's going to be where probably most cruisers get their styling from it's going to be one of those original styles the seating position is going to be more of a relaxed seating position where you know you're sitting with mid controls you're kind of sitting down into the bike instead of up on top of the bike so it's more like you're cradled in the bike with the way the seat is designed it does have minimal lower lumbar support so it'll keep you in your seat and prevent you from sliding backwards and ending up on your passenger seat this is also a Harley Davidson that you can take on an extended ride because it is extremely comfortable. Now, you'll have to pack your luggage in your book bag <laughs> or get something like a swing arm bag or some type of saddle bag if you want to carry some supplies with you because there's not much storage on this bike. In fact, there's no storage on this bike at all. But if you're looking for something just to, you know, go around town on or get out and have a little bit of fun on, this would be an excellent option. The seating position of this bike is what I call classic cruiser as well. It's basically like sitting in a comfortable chair as far as the bend of your legs and where your legs are positioned on the foot pegs as well as where your arms rest on the handlebars. And the handlebars do have a slight pull back to them which are going to position your hands in the perfect position to have full control of the motorcycle which is very important for a new rider as well as an existing rider. You always wanna have full control over your bike. So the low rider is gonna offer you an extremely comfortable ride with an extremely smooth engine. So in turn, what that's gonna to equate to is you're gonna to wanna to spend more time in the saddle. And as you all know, I'm a huge fan of the saddleman seats. And while, this, and while the seat that the bike comes with is not a saddleman seat, it has kind of the ergonomics of a saddleman seat as far as the shape of it and it has that lower lumbar support as far as the milwaukee 8 we talk about this in quite a few videos but this engine is going to be an extremely smooth engine compared to some of the engines that harley made previously you're going to end up getting a really smooth engine and the engine is smooth throughout the entire rev range there's not a lot of vibration when it comes to this motor but the engine still sounds amazing in my opinion as i've stated previously and i'll continue to state when you're a newer rider or existing rider one of the most important things is going to be comfort of the motorcycle and a smooth engine as well as a comfortable classic cruiser sitting position is going to equate to you wanting to spend more time in the saddle along with being able to have a bike that 
looks classic, looks good, and you are still able to customize in any manner you want. Because the lowrider is going to have a lot of customization options as well. There's so many different looks you can do to this thing. You can put on, you can add a front fairing to the bike, which changes the look completely. You can throw a saddleman step up seat on here, which will change the look of the bike a little bit. You can change the exhaust into a two in the one instead of having your standard um, two in the two pipes. There's just so many different options to customize the bike and to give it your own look, your own style, your own flavor. So let's talk a little bit about throttle response. So when it comes to the throttle, I have to say this is a smooth throttle, but it's still extremely responsive. So as you can see here, when I twist the throttle, it, it rolls on extremely smooth at first when you're first giving it gas. Like when you look right there, when you're first giving it the gas, it's extremely smooth. But then when you need that power delivered, all you gotta do is just twist it a little and the power just comes out of this bike immediately. There's no lag in power. And the benefit of that for new as well as existing riders, sometimes you're not extremely comfortable with the bike when you first get it. So that gives you a great option to grow with your motorcycle. Because until you get comfortable, you can just work right within that zero to a quarter turn to get your power coming out of the bike. And since it's so smooth, and it's not going to immediately throw you back in your seat you'll feel comfortable rolling on your throttle getting used to your throttle response getting used to where you need to have the throttle um, to go certain speeds and things like that a smooth throttle is extremely important when it comes to new riders as well as some existing riders and that's going to be the difference in a harley davidson cruiser versus a sports bike if you're on a sports bike you're seated in a different position where you're going to have a little bit of weight on your wrist because you're slouched kind of you know the riding position you're you're down and you got your hands resting on your handlebars and any bump you hit or something like that can cause you to be twitchy with your throttle and until you get complete control of your throttle that that's not a good situation because <laughs> you can constantly be jerking the bike or you can go into a corner and hit a bump hit your throttle and just room you know you know just have a real messed up day versus this bike has an extremely smooth throttle and when you want the power to come out you just roll it on a little bit more and bam it's right there because all harley davidson's have plenty of low-end torque but the way they designed this this um throttle is perfect for new riders as well as riders that have been riding for an extremely long time now when it comes to cornering and handling I'd say the bike handles tremendously well. As you can see here, we're taking this corner and it feels good, it feels good. Now, do I feel like this would be a bike that you could take on an extremely long road trip once you become comfortable with the bike or once you um, develop your skills or heck, even a week after you've taken a class? Yes, because it's extremely comfortable. I don't feel like you would end up becoming extremely sore off of this bike because of your seating position. You know, you have plenty of room. Me, I'm six feet, 220, 230 pounds, and I fit on the bike perfect. My legs are in the perfect position. My arms are in a great position. Is the power out of this bike overwhelming or too much for a new rider? No, it's definitely not. But when you need the power to be there, it's there. You just have to twist the throttle a little bit more. But when you're a new rider, so, so this is what I hear a lot from newer riders. They're always saying, well, I feel like that's too much bike for me, or I feel like it's gonna have too much power, or this, that, and the other. The thing is, who's controlling the power, y'all? Who's controlling it? You, with this wrist right here. As you can see, I'm riding smooth, nice and smooth. And look at, look at how much leeway I got there. Look at my hand. You have about a quarter turn where you're not going to be in a ridiculous power band but then once you get used to the bike and you're ready to feel that power you just roll on and it and it kicks in now just like all of the other harley davidson's or most of them you have all your controls right at your fingertips with your thumb you can cycle through your options on the um, display down there which you'll end up having um, of course You'll have your main miles, you'll have your trip A, your trip B. There's also a fuel gauge on here, which is 
a must have i'd say for new riders until you learn your fuel tank you're going to want to know how much gas is in these bikes you even got a remaining miles to the tank of gas so if you're out riding you're like okay i got 60 miles left before this bike is empty maybe i want to get some gas now versus having to guess or just know your bike you also got a clock on there as well as a gear indicator now let's see how it handles the curves as you can see the bike handles tremendously well it can take a curve with no problems whatsoever and it can also take a curve at a slower speed it's not going to feel too heavy once the bike starts moving the weight just disappears that's a great thing about your harley davidson most of the units are well balanced to where once they start moving you don't even think about the weight of the bike watch how i take this corner i'm not going too fast but it handles the corner just smooth it's a nice smooth turn and when you're ready for it to come back up it basically almost wants to come back up on its own so if you've just got your endorsement and you're looking into figuring out what bike you want to go with this is an option this is a great option for you because it's an extremely comfortable bike it's going to be bigger than your sportster and it's going to be a more comfortable seating position which in turn will allow you to put more miles on the bike get more seat time more saddle time ride it more get your experience up and go out exploring and have fun so let's talk a little bit about once you've been riding for a while and you want to get out there and actually ride the bike and feel its performance feel the power of a big v-twin let's test out the performance and this will be the last thing we discuss in this video the performance 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 all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just roll on throttle not even give it full throttle and see what we get oh yeah see the performance is definitely there so once you get comfortable with your bike you're gonna have the ability to go out and have some fun <laughs> the milwaukee 8 never disappoints as far as the power it lets out it's an amazing motor but what does disappoint is this this traffic <laughs> that i just came into right when i was about to do my mini twisties if you're looking for your first bike and you're looking for a classic cruiser style with a comfortable seat in position with a with a, a factory stock seat that has a little bit of lower lumbar support a two up riding seat so that that way once you get comfortable you can take that special someone out on a ride that you'll be able to put a ton of miles on when you first start riding and not end up feeling a lot of fatigue or soreness and a bike that looks good and you can customize it by doing so many different things to it then i strongly suggest taking a look at the harley davidson lowrider because you'll get an extremely comfortable ride all the performance you'll ever need especially once you become more comfortable with your bike a smooth throttle response a smooth motor what more does a newer rider need but if you'd like to see more videos like this, check out that playlist over there to the left. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that way you'll be notified when I put up future videos. But most importantly, make sure y'all stay safe, be blessed, and get out there on two wheels, people. It's your boy, Infinite Rider, signing out. Deuces. Love y'all.